Hey y'all, good morning. It's your girl Desiree. Happy Thursday, y'all. I am so I am doing so good this morning. <laughs> so um the last time y'all see my face was a couple of days ago. Um my um procedure was <laughs> I'm 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 a little embarrassed honestly. <laughs> and I will say I'm a little embarrassed because um I hyped myself up for this procedure and it wasn't at all what I expected. Um so okay, so yesterday um y'all my mom is Y'all love my mom so much. So she worked um, a double shift. Um, I want to say she worked Tuesday afternoon and then to like she did a graveyard shift. So a swing shift and a graveyard shift. So she comes over and she falls asleep on my couch, um, which I actually did not mind. That's my mom. I want to make sure that she's comfortable. So, um, she's like, what time are you going to leave? And as nervous as I was, you guys, I did not have breakfast yesterday. <laughs> and, um, I was like, well, I have to be there at 1045. So we leave my apartment at 1025. <laughs> and I was only like, maybe two minutes late. So, um, well, my mom goes home and goes to bed. So anyway, so I get to the clinic and I check in at one desk and then y'all, my nerves are getting the best of me. And there's four women who are called ahead of me and I'm sitting there, I'm getting an attitude for no reason. And I got up and I went to the first receptionist and I was like, uh, my name is Desiree Kelly. Um, I'm supposed to be, um, um, getting called to be seen and she's like oh I'm sorry she said well it is a by appointment only and I'm look. I kept looking at my watch and by the time I was called um it was like 10 58 and um my my procedure is at 11 so I get up there and I get registered in and everything and she's like okay now you can go to the second floor I was like, girl, calm down. <laughs> so, um, I get upstairs to another waiting area. And I was only sitting out there maybe um, five, less than five minutes. So, uh, I get called again. And the lady calls me. And I faintly hear my name because I'm supposed to be in another area of the, of the waiting area. So... I go change and I they so at this women's clinic they give every woman patient a robe to put on and these robes they're so clean they're white um and they 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 look at you and they go they know it's like they automatically can assume your size so the robe is very comfortable so I take off my shirts and um, the, the nurse was like, okay, I'm going to be, um, with you through the whole process and, um, we're going to make sure that you're comfortable. Um, we're going to, um, talk you through the process and, um, and I'm like in my head, I'm thinking I'm about to experience the worst pain of my life. And, um, I was woke through the whole procedure and I was very, very nervous about that because the last time I had surgery, um, it was on my foot and I was asleep. That was very invasive, very. So, um, the lady, she's getting me prepped. Um, now, mind you, I have my my nipples pierced, y'all. <laughs> and I was like, is this going to be a problem? And she's like, no. She said, um, we're going to be working away from the nipples so you don't have to worry about taking out your piercing. And I was like, okay. So... I have on a sports bra, sports bra right now that latches in the front. Okay, I'll tell you guys about that here in a bit. Um, so 
um, she said, we're going to numb you. Um, we're going to numb you a lot. And you're going to hear a clicking noise. Um, and I was like, okay, in order for the biopsy to be done. So in my head, I'm thinking it's just gonna be hope. It's gonna be very painful for me. So the um, the lady that actually did my procedure, she talked to me through the whole procedure, which only lasted maybe about twenty to thirty minutes. Um, there, the staff in there, and the physicians and the radiologists and the people who do the mammograms, ultrasound, they're so nice. They're asking me if I want something to drink. They're telling me what the bathrooms are. Um, um, I, it, it's just a very, um, it's a very calm atmosphere in there. Um, you still have to wear a mask from the time you enter in the building until um, you leave. So they are still mask restricted. I mean, requirement yeah required sorry so um the whole time i'm thinking to myself it's gonna be painful i'm not gonna be able to get through this i'm gonna cry um and then like she the the physician that did my uh my procedure she's um oh you're gonna feel a sting and a poke and uh, she's like counting down okay are you ready and i was like yeah so she numbed me like six or seven different times. Um, I felt a little poke with the um, numbing needle, but it didn't burn. And I was happy about that. <laughs> so um, they got started and I felt, I felt one of the, um, of the like it's like a clicky noise i actually felt that against my skin and she's like okay i'm gonna numb you again and after that um i really didn't feel much i felt pressure but i was just sitting there and i was breathing and like i was relaxing myself but through the whole process they're like okay are you feeling anything are you feeling okay and she's like i want you to talk to me you know and um, you know, let me know, you know, if you're feeling any pain, she said, just make sure you're talking to me. So she kept asking me, are you doing okay? Are you doing okay? Are you doing okay? And she's like, I'm almost, we're almost there. Um, she's not really telling me about what she's doing, which I'm happy about that part. <laughs> so she's like, okay, um, it looks like everything is good. Um, I felt, they said they put a marker in. I don't know what that meant, but, um, I felt a little, it was like more pressure than anything. So, um, she's like, okay, everything looks good. Um, they took out, I want to say they took out the polyp, but they took a lot of fluid out of the polyp. I don't know if they actually took the polyp out is what they, is actually what it was called. So, um, I had, after that, they bandaged me up. They're telling me what I can and cannot do. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else? Okay, so um, I got my, I put my robe back around me. And uh, let me see. Um, She's like, okay, you have to have a mammogram now. And I'm like. <laughs> so. Essentially, when I had got when I uh, a week ago when I had my mammogram done, um, the the whole process of getting a mammogram is like they're putting your a woman's breast on these plates. They're plastic. They're a little cold, but that's to be expected or whatever because they keep the machines clean after every patient. So they wipe the machines down. Um, they put your a woman's breast on this tape on this like on this it's like a plate, sort of. And then they 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 snugly fit your fit a woman's breast onto this um, plate, and then it's another clear part that comes down over it. So 
um, it's like they have to go, depending upon a woman's breast size, it's like they have to grab her from under her arm. And they, it's like your whole boob is put on this thing from your from the side all the way around. So since I have big boobs, <laughs> um, it, it took more of, my, of me maneuvering. I was okay. I was, I was okay. So yesterday, um, it was like, it was a, it was a snug fit, but it wasn't tight. So she was like, if you have any pain, please let me know. And I will make sure that, um, you're not hurting. So since I was numb, I didn't feel a lot, but I knew there was some slight pressure there. So I was okay. So it wasn't like when I had my first mammogram. <clears throat> so um, I was very comfortable with this with that second mammogram. So um, she was like, "Okay." She took two pictures, and then she's like, "I'm gonna have you wait in the waiting room, uh, so the radiologist, you know, can let me know if these pictures are okay or not." <laughs> So I was like, okay, so I sat in the waiting room in that portion for about two minutes. And then she came out. She's like, okay, Desiree, um, you're free to go. Um, she gave me my discharge instructions. And she's like, she said for like the next two to four days, she's like, we don't want you to do no laundry. We don't want you to do no dishes. Um, <laughs> excuse me, I'm a little congested again, y'all. But anyway, um she's like we really don't want you having any extracurricular activity going on right now so um don't pick up a baby <laughs> don't pick up any groceries um y'all that's a little difficult for me because like i want to i think i'm going to be able to see my grandbaby today i think and um like i love picking her up and tickling her and stuff but not this week. <laughs> Next week. So, um, um, yesterday was pretty good for me. I had a little bit of pain. Um, when I came home yesterday, it was about, um, 1 30 in the afternoon and I took a pain pill and it actually helped me relax a lot. And then, um, I had applied an ice pack. And, um, actually I did an ice pack twice yesterday. I took Tylenol and then last, no, I was able to sleep through the night pretty good. Um, which was actually great. <laughs> so right now it's like, it's almost six in the morning. Um, I just woke up cause I'm, oh, I'm sorry. I just woke up because I'm a little bit congested, but, um, and I feel a little bit of pain. So I just took a pain pill. Um, I'm okay. And I slept, I slept in my bra in this sports bra. Um, they said that they don't want my, my boob to hang down. So you guys could see that's where they did my procedure yesterday. Um, it was bleeding a little bit, but not as, not, a, not as much. So um I need I need to buy band-aids just in case I have any more bleeding. But uh they said once these fall off, um, and if there is like slight bleeding, then I have to ha have uh band-aids. So I'm doing okay. I am I'm doing okay. I uh just um had some go <laughs> um i bought them so i can have freedom to my grandbaby too which i which was so funny because um i she when they come over like she's all over my apartment which i really don't mind <laughs> and she goes into the kitchen and she's like knocking on the refrigerator door it's like not because she's hungry but she knows how to sign for eat. But um, 
if I go in the kitchen, she's right behind me. Or whoever goes in the kitchen, like, she's right behind them. So, my daughter was in here. My daughter was in the room with my other daughter. And my grandbaby was in the living room with me. So, I was like, you know what? Let me um, get her a go -Gurt. So, I opened it. And she, she like, with a go you know how you have to bring it up to the tip so you can eat it. So, I did that for her. And she she was coming back and forth to me, <laughs> getting some. <laughs> it was so cute. So I have my hair up in a bun. Y'all, my hair is growing some more. And I'm super happy about that. And then, it, but I look a mess this morning. But anyways, y'all, like, oh, and then, okay, I'm sorry. So my mom and I were, um, we stopped at McDonald's to get some food. And, um... I got a notification from my chart and I was like, test results. What? And it wasn't even, um, two hours after my procedure. So I'm scrambling. I'm trying to find where I put my classes. And I was like, test results, test results, what test results? My mom was like, you got your test results already. I was like, yeah. So I tried to read it and I couldn't read it. And I was trying to find my glasses and she's like, the print is so small. Can you enlarge it? And I was like, no. So I found my glasses and I was like going through the test results, y'all. <laughs> so we pulled up into um, the parking lot of my apartment. And I'm going through and I'm reading, I'm reading my test results. And it said no ab abnormalities found. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so thankful. I don't have cancer. I'm so thankful for that. I don't have cancer, y'all. Like yesterday, I felt like a big weight had been lifted off of me. I'm so thankful. I really am. I am so thankful. Because the thought, like the thoughts of having cancer, just, like, that's an emotional and it's a difficult road to go through. So, um, I'll be 45 in May and I'm, I'm pretty sure like I'm knocking on the door of, um, starting menopause soon, but I can't say, you know, but, um, like having the thought of, of possibly having breast cancer, like it scared me so bad. It really did. Um, my daughter asked me, she's like, mom, how would you handle it? Well, I mean, like, what would you do if you had it? And that's one, that's one thought that I don't even want to think about, but I had to, in my, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking there was a possibility that I would have to face that. And if I, if it came where it was detected and it was in my breast, I would seriously have to, um, I would seriously just go ahead and do treatment and get in and get that process started and, um, find a way to get through it and be strong and believe and trust in God that whatever journey or path you put me on, it will be the best for me. So... But I'm just thankful that I'm not on that journey. I'm thankful for that. I, I, you guys, you know, I've struggled through a lot already. And to have that, um, to have that going on with me, it would be a whole lot worse. Oh, so y'all, I'm thankful. I really am. Um, I don't know anyone personally that has been through that. 
but it doesn't run in my family, so. But y'all, I'm thankful. I really am. And I appreciate y'all for um, supporting me and encouraging me because, like, without the support of people, that's, like, one of the hardest, hardest things to find out. So when I had that mammogram and I had to wait a week for the actual biopsy and then the procedure and then waiting for the test results, it was like my my head was like all over the place. And um, people tell me, Desiree, you're going to be okay. Everything's going to be fine. Um, people were telling me we're still going to be here. You know, I had a lot of support. I still have a lot of support and I'm very thankful for that. So it means a lot to me. It means the world to me. Um, for my followers, friends and family, um, to encourage me and support me and pray for me. So I know, um, my kids were worried. They were very worried. And, um, God forbid, if something would have happened, like, my kids would have, even though it's like my kids are, are they're grown now, y'all. Um, even though they're grown, it's like, I know they still need me. And I would still want to be here to see my grandbaby grow up. <laughs> and that, that, like, having kids and seeing them grow up and do their own thing and, um, have babies and stuff like it's a blessing for me it really is so I'm thankful I'm so thankful like I just um I wanted to cry yesterday but I was just um I was just like I was happy all day <laughs> I was happy so okay y'all that is my story <laughs> um I'm going to lay back down because this pain medication is kicking in and I feel good. I really do. Um, I'm going to drink a lot of water today. I need to flush my system out, but, um, I wouldn't have it any other way right now. I really wouldn't. So it's a blessing and I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for the lessons that I've learned um, going through this process and being able to say, Hey, you know, um, I was, I, I was, I had that scare, but, um, God made a way for me and he gave me favor y'all. I'm thankful. <laughs> so make sure you like this video and subscribe if you are first seeing if you're seeing this for the first time. Sorry, I'm stumbling over my words. Um make sure you comment below and let me know how you got what your guys' thoughts are. Have a good day. God bless you.